How do you feel when you go a day or two without bathing or showering? Chances are you don't feel very good. You're itchy, tired, sweaty, and overall aren't yourself until you jump into the tub and scrub yourself clean. We can't imagine going even a week without a bath, never mind our entire life. But an Iranian man has done just that. Amu Haji is 85 years old and hasn't taken a bath or shower in over 65 years. Simply looking at him, you can see he couldn't care less about cleanliness. His skin is absolutely caked in dirt and mud, looking more like scales in several places. Amazingly, he doesn't eschew bathing out of duty or punishment, but rather because he wants to. To him, cleanliness is next to sickliness, and if he should put soap and shampoo to skin, he would fall ill. So he avoids bathing at all costs. Once, a group of men offered to bathe him for free, and he responded by running away. When the Tehran Times interviewed Haji, he admitted that as a youngster, he suffered emotional setbacks, which prompted him to live life the way he does. He never elaborated on what these setbacks were, but we're guessing it had something to do with water. It could have been anything though. Haji's lifestyle isn't limited to a lack of bathing. His life is both primitive and minimalist, not to mention disgusting in virtually every way. He's essentially homeless, wandering his village of Dejgar and sleeping in a shallow grave. No, seriously, one of his main homes is a hole in the ground that he curls up in to sleep. It provides partial protection from the elements, but he also believes it helps keep him in touch with the earth around him. That said, he does have a house. Kind of. A while back, some kind souls built him a small open-door brick shack because they felt bad for him. Unlike offers of a bath, Haji accepted the shack, though he still spends much of his time outside and sleeping under the stars. His dirt-centric approach to life extends to his diet as well. He has no use or desire for fresh food, instead choosing to eat rotten meat. His favorite is porcupine, unless it's grilled fresh with a side of crisp vegetables. Also, while he does drink plenty of water, up to 5 liters per day, he typically drinks it dirty, straight out of a rusty old oil can. As you may not be surprised to hear, Haji also smokes. But rather than a single cigarette at a time like most people, Haji tends to smoke up to five simultaneously, like a nervous cartoon character. Of course, that's when he settles on six. Other times, he prefers a pipe, but not one filled with tobacco. No, when it's pipe time, this man fills it with grade-A animal feces, lights it up, and gets to smoking. We can only imagine how long it took him to get used to that without gagging or outright retching, though you could ask the same question for virtually every part of his life. His eccentric habits don't end there either. One of his few material possessions is an old war helmet, which he wears to protect his head from the winter chill. We're not sure what he does for the rest of his body. Perhaps the decades of caked on dirt and mud keep him warm. As far as Haji's hair goes, he actually does cut it. He may not care about a clean body, but he draws the line at unkempt hair. However, he doesn't cut it like any of us do. Instead of razors and scissors, he simply puts his hair to an open fire and lets it burn away whatever he doesn't want anymore. You can never accuse Amu Haji of being a wimp. It's hard to imagine living a life like Haji's, both due to his dirtiness and his primitive simplicity. Then again, he seems content with the way he lives. He has no bills to pay, no possessions to obsess over, and it seems being one with nature keeps him from feeling lonely. Perhaps there's something to be said for cutting down the way he has. Who's to say any of us wouldn't be happier trading a life of materialism and endless worry for one of peace, quiet, and tranquility? That all said, you can be peaceful, tranquil, and non-materialistic while still allowing baths and barbers into your life. Oh, and a 100% lack of rotten meat and smoked animal dung. That sounds like the best of both worlds to us. How about you?